Ladies and gentlemen, I do welcome you all back to Gothic. And, uh, let's just top ourselves off with a good old fresh crispy apple. And now we talk to Diego. Hey, I thought you were dead. Sometimes you I think, think that. Myself. A lot of things have happened since we last met. I hear you've contributed a great deal to the final invocation. Obviously, you're quite well informed. Better than you think. Now you're looking for the focus? Yes, there must be one somewhere around here. I know where to find one. There's just one problem. I see. W what do you want? You've really learned your lesson, but that's not what I meant. No? What's the problem then? It's three tons of a problem. Let's go. You'll understand in a moment. Will I? Here we have black goblins, which of course are not really a threat anymore. Oh, so far I don't really see the problem. Oh, these are goblin warriors. Never mind, these are actually even tougher. I don't really see the problem Diego was talking about. Certainly these black goblins are not the... Oh my god. On the left side of this canyon, lies the entrance to a cave that leads to the location of the focus. All right, but first we have to get rid of that monster over there. Try to find a weak point or another possibility to defeat the troll. I'll attract his attention. Well, maybe we should have planned this out a bit better before you charged in there all gung-ho. But uh, well, while you have fun fighting and uh, possibly dying over there, I'm going to stand here and read this note that was conveniently left here. Today I'll make it. I know it. The gods will be with me. I tried everything to kill a troll. The strongest steel had no effect. Arrows just bounced off as if his skin were made of stone. Now I'll use this magic scroll the merchant in Corinna sold me. It cost me 50 pieces of gold, but with the profit I'll make with these trophies, I'll be rich. Today I'll kill a troll. We see Diego's... Not really doing too much damage, but he's able to keep the troll effectively stunlocked and somehow sent it flying there. Thankfully, neither of them can really damage each other, so uh, it's an exercise in futility in both directions. But we found this shrink monster spell, which is uh, terribly convenient. And uh, might as well give it a whirl here. Oh, would you look at that. Now this is the only spell of its kind. I love how he still stops like he's a thousand pounds. That was fantastic. You're really good. And now, go get the focus. I'll make sure that there won't be any other awkward surprises. Indeed. Anyway, uh, we got a troll skin here. Not really a big deal, but it's fairly valuable. Um, yeah. What was I saying? The Shrink Monster spell, it's the only spell like it in any of these games that I've seen. And this is pretty much the... You can't really find a whole lot in this game. And I'm not... I can't even really remember off the top of my head if and where you can find another one. This one was here just for the uh, sake of uh, you know having a kind of extra obstacle here. Now here we have a cave... If we try to ascend this cave, we are rather stuck due to this uh, inexplicable palisade here. So uh, let's go see what Diego has to say about it. Well, he's standing in front of a winch. Perhaps this winch will operate it. The oh, it's winch jammed. Seems to be jammed. Let me see. Maybe I can fix it. Well, it ought to work now. I should hope so. What are you doing? Stop it! Stop it! Enough! Desist! What the fuck are you doing? Oh, there we go. Oh, more goblins. I don't know where these guys all came from. But if you're wondering about that uh, winch there and why they put a palisade there, and how in any way does it make sense for uh, the cave and the focus to be locked up? Well, as far as um, 
you know, as far as the plot goes, I can't really tell you why that exists. It's possible that the mages had it built to protect the focus stone, same way. Get the focus, and I'll wait for you here. The same way that um, they put the curse on the chest in the ring of stone, just to make sure that they didn't have to keep the focus stones with them, but they were able to protect them from uh, travelers and thieves. So that's probably that could be why this was built, but um. As far as a gameplay mechanic, once again, this is just how they made sure you couldn't get up here and get the Focus Stone before you reached this part in the quest. And that's why the winch is jammed until uh, you come here with Diego and he fixes it for you. So that's just how they make sure you can't get up here too early. Now here, we got some really, really nasty things to deal with. Probably my least favorite enemies in the entire uh, franchise. So let's see if we can take them out real quick. Harpies! Oh wow, that does nothing to them. We can tell just by the sound of them why they're so frustrating. Alright, Fireball does a lot more damage to these things. Get out of my face! Problem is, uh, melee is really the only effective way to deal with them. The harpies don't have anything that's actually that you can actually loot from them. They're just obscenely annoying. I cannot stand them. All right, well we got the focus. Tally ho! Hey, you found the focus. Very good. I think it's time for me to stop by at the old camp again. Good luck. Make sure you stay alive. We'll meet again. We better. Take care. All right, then. Might as well pick up all these weapons. I think these maces are... You know, in this quantity, they're worth enough that I might as well keep them. All right, so the next order of business is to... Well, head to the next focus site. Which, if we take a look at the map, is kind of kind of to the east of here, between the sea and the uh, trading post, where we uh, started the game. So that is where we shall head next. I'm gonna take these stone roots because these do restore mana. All right, so let us make a journey over there now. Oh, Diego's having some trouble. Alright, so here we are, um, for a point of reference, that's the uh, walls of the old camp in the distance there. You just have to follow the river uh, to the east, as it were. And right up here is supposed to be where the next focus stone is. And there we see another friend of ours. Having a bit of trouble with the snappers. Hi, Greenhorn. As you can see, the colony is quite a small place. You can't help bumping into people all the time. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm trying to track down an old legend. A uh, legend? 
Yes, Milton, my pal from the old camp, told me that monks used to live here. Of course, that was long before the barrier was created. It said they worshipped a god who gave them the power to turn into animals. I'm sure there are still treasures from the old times here. What brings you here? I'm looking for a magic focus. It must be somewhere in this area. We could go on together. Good idea. This area is crowded with snappers. When they're on their own, they're no problem for an experienced hunter. Most of the time they hunt in packs, though. A pack can even tear the cleverest sword fighter to pieces. So we'll go together? Okay, but before we cross this log, I'd like to examine the canyon. I'd like to know what's at my back. Come with me. I've discovered a path which will take us there. All right, buddy, lead the way. Now, this is uh, a case I actually meant to experiment with, but just kind of forgot about. I wanted to know how exactly they kept you out of the uh, monastery up there. Because uh, from what I can see, there's nothing really stopping you. If you know about this path down here, the whole point is that this uh, canyon... It's kind of, kind of like a hidden area, and Gorn is supposed to be the one who brings your attention to it, so obviously by the time you're here with Gorn, you're looking for the Focus Stone, so it's, uh, you know, it's time for you to have it. And Gorn helps you discover this cave here, which uh, contains an item that allows you to get inside the monastery. So, Gorn... I don't know why those two were not really responding to each other. Anyway. That's what I call luck. Apparently, this used to be a storage cave. Why don't you take the lead now? I just wanted to make sure that we won't be surprised on our return trip. You clever tactician. I'm not really sure uh, what is lucky about this, so... It is possible, perhaps, that this... Because, like, in here, you get the, uh, you get the key from the cave, and that, uh, that opens the chest to the focus. But you also get, uh, the spell scrolls that will transform you into meat bugs. I'm just not really sure how they prevent you from getting those things. Because once you have them, Gorn, this way, once you have them, you can get into the monastery and get the focus. So, I'm not really sure... It's possible that they're just banking on the thought that when you come through here, you aren't sure. You, like, you aren't aware of this cave. And uh, thus, you are not aware of how you can get into the monastery until Gorn shows you down here. I can't really say, say for sure, but I actually meant to test it to uh, see if I can figure out how they actually prevent you from getting up there. Now, unfortunately, Gorn as a follower here is much more annoying than any of the other, um, any of the other Focus Stone traveling companions or whatever you want to call them. Uh, namely because he flips his shit every time he sees a snapper, but the snappers also go ape shit, and trying to cross this log is very tricky to get him because you have to line him up perfectly with the log. If you fail to... First of all, that snapper is going to try and get over to us, which means he's going to fall. And down he goes. But he survived it, which means he's going to be back up here eventually. So, trying to get across this log, you have to give Gorn a straight path. And you have to be real quick about it. Because he's liable to uh, aggro on one of the snappers on the way over. And thus, uh, his path, he'll try to take the straight path to them. Ergo, he will actually just fall off the log and get stuck down there. Alright then. So if we wander over this way, we can see on the uh, wall up here what looks like a focus platform. There's some kind of platform up there, but it seems to be too high to climb. We'll have to find another way. Indeed, we will. So let us head this way.
This damn gate. They say nobody in the colony has ever been able to open it. The little beasts over there seem to be the only ones who have managed to get into the inner yard. Is that so? Well, perhaps we can take a cue from them. Oops, I've got no mana. Oh ho ho ho! Who's the clever man now? So when you use a transformation spell, you have to be sure, uh, for some reason, enter is the key to deactivate it, so... You actually managed to open the gate. That spell of yours was real clever. And on we go. Come on. Onwards and forwards. Yo, here we got a bunch more snappers. Don't know how they all managed to get in here. But, uh... They should not be in here, so we are going to kill them. Alright, and we go forth. To battle. Come on, go on, prepare your axe. Gorn. Gorn! Fuck off! Go and do something, you son of a bitch! What the hell are you doing? Come on, then! These ones are going for Gorn. Gorn? Oh! There we have it. Not too bad at all. Alright, alright. So, I'm curious about these statues here. They're orc statues, which is very strange. I wonder, is this, this monastery, the monks who lived here, we hear almost nothing about them. And it doesn't seem to me like they were ever something that Piranobites actually put a whole lot of thought into. Looks like a pedestal of some sort. Perhaps the artifact you're looking for used to lay here. Perhaps it did, and I don't know why I have a bow on again. Let's unequip it. Um, so, yeah, like, I'm just wondering if there was ever an intended connection between the monks who lived here and the uh, orc idols they have erected here. So, I suspect there is not. It's probable that they were just kind of designing this area and working on the atmosphere without really putting a whole lot of thought into uh, you know continuity and any real sensibilities so uh, evidently what we want is no longer up there so let's take a look around the corner here Gorn why are you so stupid yeah, Gorn has a lot of trouble here, even in these open areas, uh, especially down in this cave here. Not really sure what his deal is. Oh boy. Ah, fuck off. Come on, come on. These little bastards. And inside here is something altogether much more dangerous than these snappers. So let us get a bit more mana back. Probably want to heal up as well. Just to be safe. Once again, this is where Gorn has a tendency to have a lot of trouble. Make sure you take it slow. Make sure he's right behind you. And prepare for battle against the... Ah, oh, bugger. You little bastard. So here we got a shadow beast. Something uh, dreadfully fearsome. Now normally these things are sleeping during the day, but I think since this one's in a cave. And he's also an asshole who keeps dodging my f fucking lightning bolts. 
Oh dear. Come on, Gorn. Get him. There we go. That's what I like it to see. Now, normally those things will drop horns, but for some reason in this game, uh, a lot of really important animal trophies don't drop until later on. Uh, basically when we actually need them, and I'm not really sure why they programmed it that way, but it's possible it's just to make sure that you uh, don't get in the habit of selling items that you're going to need later. So here we have a bit of a uh, library slash laboratory. Here we got some chests. And this here is a focus, and for some reason Gorn will talk to you as soon as you pick it up. So it's generally a good idea, because it kind of glitches out the menu when he uh, talks to you immediately. So you want to try and pick it up and close the uh, chest as soon as possible. So you found your magic artifact. Yeah, I have to take the focus to the Magicians of Water. They need it. I'll accompany you for a while. Oh, cool. Aren't you a bro? What the hell? That was weird. So you, you see, uh, like, it's just annoying that they have that script where he talks to you immediately. But, uh... Eh, it's not game-breaking, at least. So let us, uh, depart from this place. Gorn? Come on. You can do it. I'm not really sure what he's uh, bugging out over. All right, so let us have a quick save. Then we shall return to the surface. Alright, let us just uh, mosey on out. Oh my god! Oh, hell! What monster's that over there? Oh, where did that come from? Looks like one of those virtually invincible trolls, only smaller. Whatever. If we want to get out of here, we have to get past that beast. All right, Gorn. Lead the charge. Gorn. Charge. Lead it. Go, please. Now, please. Help! Well, he's not quite invincible, and actually, because uh, trolls get easily stun locked, it's very, very easy to just that do the. Hard work. Yeah, not we really. that monster, but if that was just a young troll, then you'd rather not bump into its parents, huh? Something like that. This is where we go our separate ways. I want to stay here for a while and have a look around, but I'm sure we'll meet again. See you later, my friend. See you later as well. Now, uh, as I was saying, with uh, trolls, because they kind of get that uh, flinch animation every time you hit them, it's very easy to just keep up a uh, left and right combo, and they'll never be able to attack you. And also because it doesn't carry you, because those combos don't carry you forward, you don't have to worry about kind of uh, getting stuck on them or uh, missing any of your swings. Now this here, this here thingamajig, this tower, there's nothing really to it. Uh, at least one mod, Dark Mysteries, did try to uh, did try to add some uh, add some stuff to it to make it a bit more interesting. But uh, you can you could see that there were actually uh, like holes in the ceilings where you could uh, climb up higher. But since there's no ladders and no kind of like levitation spell or anything in this game, there's just no way to get up there. Uh, you can try climbing on the rock face here to get a little bit higher, but even then, that's not going to do anything. And there's no jumping from up here. But obviously, we're meant to climb up here, so... Hmm. Wonder what secrets this could hold. Well. That's a rather impassable chasm, but that seems to be a chest on the other side. Now, I do wonder how we could get across there. Well, of course I know. Uh, if you have the acrobatic skill, you can actually make that jump. Without it, it's impossible to make it. But, this looks convenient, does it? Doesn't it? Well, there's just one problem with this thing. Uh, as you can well imagine, 
the implication is that you're supposed to knock down this column and get to the other side. Now, for a long time I wondered about this. One of the things that I was told was that if you had a spell to transform into a troll, uh, you could actually punch this thing down, and that's the only way you could get across. I thought that was one of the more clever, uh, you know, kind of hidden Easter eggs of sorts. But, truth is, there's no way you can do that. Uh, I don't even think there is a transform into troll spell in this game, or transform into golem or anything. Uh, so there's, but even if there is, that's not how you do it, because you notice, if you have a weapon drawn, you cannot interact with the column at all, so you certainly can't hit it. So you could not do it as, uh, even if you were in a transformation mode. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it turns out this column is simply bugged. They have it facing the wrong way. So if you can do it, you can actually get behind it. and push it the wrong way. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The most useless feature in this game. I have no idea why that was never patched. That is supposed to fall that way so you can take a bridge across, but it doesn't work. They put it backwards, and they never fixed it. Oh, Piranha Bites. Will you ever cease to amaze and disappoint us. Alright, so we're gonna take a little bit of a shortcut here. Boink, boink. Apologies for that, but I'm simply never actually going... I'm probably never going to get the acrobatic skill. I have more important things to use the uh, learning points for. Left, right. However, altogether, this chest is not even remotely worth the trouble. So... Don't fret if you can't find a way over here. And I figure while we're here, why don't we uh, just take a look in this tower so I can prove to you that there is nothing in here. So you can see that there were meant to be ways to get up or at least down from here. But there's just nothing in here. It was never actually developed into anything... Uh, all that interesting. Alright. Well, we've gotten three out of the four focus stones. Actually got a generous amount of learning points as well. Might behoove us to actually invest in some mana. But, uh, before we really move on, I'm actually gonna turn that back. Whoops. Gotta turn that back off. So I don't want to, uh, cheat forever. Now, there's not really anything interesting down there. If you followed the waterfall and got down there, there's no real way for you to get back up from here. So you'd have to swim to a, uh, a beach on the other side. And if you go out too far into the sea, I think you'll run into uh, the barrier out there. All right, now, this forest here is a bit dangerous. It's actually probably the single place in this game that I am the least familiar with. Uh, basically, I just never really bothered to explore the uh, woods here because there's not really anything all that interesting in them. But uh, there are I think a couple orcs here as well as the orc dog creatures that I told you guys about before. And of course, wolves and much more deadly things like shadow beasts. There's also something very intriguing. Namely, this tower here. This is what's known as the Fog Tower. And this is something we are actually not going to do anything with just yet. Uh, because it's altogether a bit out of my league, I think. Uh, there's loads of skeletons down there and even more fearsome things. So we're going to have to wait on that. But rest assured, I will do it before this walkthrough is complete. And up here, there's not really anything interesting at all. But, uh, yeah, right here, if you did go down to that waterfall and uh, fell all the way down... Oh, Lord above. This is basically where you'd end up. Uh, there's a shipwreck here. 
And this shipwreck is pretty interesting. I kind of wonder how it got here. Obviously, it came here uh, in ages past. But I wonder if it actually came through the barrier. Or uh, if, this w if this just wrecked on the shore a long time ago. And the survivors are long gone. Anyway, uh, take note of these fire lizards here. They are pretty dangerous enemies and we're not going to worry about them right now. But they will be important later on. And uh, that is when we must take care of them. Alright, so let us head on to uh, the final focus area. Alright, so this is where we move on to uh, the final area. That's the bridge over to the Orc Cemetery as a point of reference. And uh, let's top ourselves off with mana here. A lot of lizards up there. We can mostly just avoid them. But I don't think there are any fire lizards, so they're... Oh, excuse me. They're not really a huge concern. If we head up this way, I don't think there's anything actually over here. But it would have been an interesting place for them to put a secret. This is not remotely an obvious place, but it does give us kind of a vantage point over to where we are actually looking to go. You see that fortress there? That's where we want to be. And uh, there's no getting over there from here. If you If you jump down, you would end up in that river. And that would take you all the way down to the swamp camp. So, don't even try. Alright, so let's uh, make haste and dispatch with these lizards. Oh, geez, there's another one. Wait, what? No. What? I'm confused. Where the hell's the lizard? I keep hearing a lizard behind me. Oh! Ah! He's underground. You silly bastard. Oh, that's uh, terribly amusing. Well, not something we have to worry about. Alright, this video is probably going to run over quite a bit longer than I usually care to have them, but... No big deal. Now these bloodhounds are pretty nasty things. There are quite a lot of them up here. So before we really do anything else, you can head that way. That obviously leads straight to where we want to go. But on the bridge you see something altogether terribly nasty. these things I know they were gonna sneak up on me so that thing way over there is a golem and you can take my word for it golems are very powerful and generally only have one way they can be defeated and we do not have the means to defeat that one just yet ouch ouch Fuck off! Oh god, I'm gonna die. Not good. God damn it. Good. Excellent. Die! You sons of bitches. God, I hate these things. Alright, so what we need to defeat the troll... If you don't have the means to do it already, 
you can find the means right in here. No, it's not this uh, fireball scroll. It is, in fact, this orc hammer. And uh, shouldn't take too much thinking to realize that uh, a golem made entirely out of stone is only really vul vulnerable to a uh, a blunt weapon, since blunt weapons are, um, you know, their heavy impact. You would use a hammer to break a rock. So that's kind of what this is meant to imply. You can also use things like uh, the stone crusher mace. I think any kind of like mace would work as well. Uh, I don't know if the steel tongue will work. But yeah, that'll work. Um, I don't think axes will work. Pink axes might, but you know they're just altogether extremely weak. But uh, golems, similar to trolls, have a tendency to flinch every time you hit them. So this guy might seem terribly fearsome, but if you do it right, he won't even be able to land a hit on you. So anyway, before we even try it. Let's just make sure we've got a uh, backup saved and ready to go in case we uh, fail miserably. By we, of course, I mean I. And, uh, nope. No miserable failures whatsoever. Went down pretty damn easily. Lester! How are you doing? Hey, what are you doing here? I came here by order of the Magicians of Water. I'm looking for magical artifacts, so-called Focus Stones. You're looking for the Focus Stones? You're really brave. Satyrus think and so? other magicians from the new camp want to use it to detonate the barrier in order to free us from this imprisonment. I'll believe that when I see it with my own eyes. I feel the same, but tell me, why did you come here? I'm weighing up if it's worthwhile paying a visit to the mountain fort. You know... There is a document I'd like to get. On the other hand, it's quite risky to go in there. How did you manage to get past that living mountain? I've learned a lot from the gurus. Their magic can be really helpful. That's extremely vague. He doesn't really tell us what spell or magic he used to get around it. And I can't even think of what he might have used. This document you're looking for, what is it? Many years ago, the lord of this area lived in this mountain fort. He controlled the land and the mines. Like any other aristocrat, he had, of course, a document to verify his tenure. And I'll get this document. But as long as we're being kept in here by the barrier, it won't be worth anything. That's right. But if the water mages manage to destroy the barrier, the document might become quite valuable again. Indeed. We could have a look around the fort together. That's a good idea. You go first. I'll stay near you. Atta boy. Alright, so I'm actually going to uh, call the episode here. Uh, I hope it's a good idea because now I'm worried that the next one might be over short, but basically this is going to take us quite a while to get through this, and I don't want this to end up being like an hour long episode. Um, I know you guys asked for longer episodes early on. I do intend to keep with that, but that's quite a bit longer than I care to make these. So I'm going to call the episode here. We're going to take on the fort. And I'll be back to see you in the next episode.